Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is my clay stove. This is a tribute to Bones Yard. I created a clay stove over there by his area. I hope he enjoys his clay stove that I created for him. And I'm a little cheating here. I got a little fan here. And it makes a uh, very high, very flammable torch. Look how red that is down there. Let's see, let's take a look down here. And there's my clay stove. It's cherry red hot down there. If I drop my cam, there's no way of getting it out. <laughs> there you go. I just want to show you my clay stove. And I created this little pocket thing. It kind of works, but it don't work. A lot of heat's going out. And supposed to, if I put the sidewalls on this thing, it's supposed to uh, hit the hit the ceiling, go in here, and go out that chute there and outside the sides. And I got these tarps, this little canopy thing, and it's supposed to keep warm. I'm kind of warm right now, so I'm all right. I'm good. And I take my little stick, knock that down. A lot of ash <laughs> I can feel the heat right here <laughs> well I just want to show you my clay stove I hope this inspires a lot of y'all to make your own clay stove I created mine if the light goes out I have something to cook my food see I got this little little stove top thing and just put it on there now I just put my pot on there and cook my food. I also created it to, to burn sticks that's in my yard that fell from my trees just to get rid of that that uh that them twigs that fall off your trees. That's another reason why I built it. Because during Hurricane Katrina we didn't have no type of source of cooking except for charcoal but this does a better job. Alright, I'm ready to cookie. And there's Sally. I painted her. Ain't that right, Sally? Sally! Sally! <laughs> and that's Dirk. What you doing, Dirk? <coughs> what you barking at him for? You know him. Okay. <coughs> Alright, I'm ready to cookie, and this is the clay stove. <coughs> Look at the flames on that thing. And mine's. Mine is about from my fist to about right here at the crease of my arm deep. That's how, hey, I'm talking here. That's how deep it is. And from here to there is about, almost the same length as my arm. Hey, I'm talking here. So, there you go. There's my clay stove. I'm talking. Don't fuck, fuck again, bitch. Hey, Sally, don't be a good bad dog. Okay, ow, I burned. <laughs> All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you all enjoy the Ranger Cookie's clay stove. <clears throat> That's how hard my clay stove is. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. Bye bye. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing's 
This thing is doing excellent. Once you get your flame, see I got a fan here. This fan comes from Walmart or a pet store. And that's what you do is put that sucker right there. I'll show you the difference. Here's the fan. Here's no fan. Give it a second, it's gonna die down a little bit more. A little bit more. Now if your fire gets too high, and if you got a tarp above your head like I do, and you want to calm it down, you can just get one of these things right here. It comes out of an electrical stove and you just throw it on top. Let's see how the difference is with the fan and no fan. Okay, that's with fan. And I want to take off the uh, item. Okay, I want to put the item back on. And see, it calms it down just a hair. So if you don't want your fire blazing, you can throw that on. Plus, it, it draws out heat. That's a heat element from an old electrical stove. I find all kinds of stuff, and I use everything to keep warm or whatever I need to do. Let's take a look at that. I just want to show you again what this is. So electrical heat them. I wonder if I can put batteries on that and see if I can make this hot and put this in your bed when you go to sleep. <laughs> All right, Iron Ranger, can you this part two, whatever. Just want to show you how red this thing got. That's how red it got. Just sitting on my fire here. Pretty red. And I'd heat up my camp or whatever you at. That would heat heat up your area with that hot air. Any type of uh, damn it. Any type of metal you put in your fire will heat up your camp. It looks like I need more firewood. Alright, let's go get some more firewood and I'll see y'all later. Alright, well I'm doing a test with my clay stove. I put this fluke glue on it. And I'm going to see if it's going to get hot. What girl? What Sally? You did drawing. I got my fan. And I got a new fluke glue on it. This sucker is going to kick ass in a few seconds. Let's take, let's watch. Or I'll come back to this. All right, that was the bottom of the fluka. I put it on there earlier and that sucker turned cherry red almost. Let's we'll see what happens. All right, see you in a few seconds. All right, I got this uh, fluka on my clay stove and it's putting out some good freaking heat. If I had this closed off, I'll be warm right now. But it's like a big dark cold draft on my backside. And if I close this off closer, it'd be less to heat up. It's like heating up a big room. The smaller the room is, the faster you heat up. And this, and that's doing pretty good. That tarp thing. Let's we'll see. Uh, how about not? Last time I did that, I caught stuff on fire. I'll let to put my face over that, but uh, it's freaking hot over that fluka. Fluka is pretty red, uh, pretty hot, but it's not red hot. But it can get that way if I wanted to. Let's take a look at the bottom. So it's pretty red. Pretty good. All right, I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is a uh, video to Bone and Manland for their clay stove that I built for them. You got possibilities above, beyond the world. I mean, this thing's putting out some heat. I can feel heat. I still feel heat. Get a little colder right there. That's how far I can feel heat from that fluka. All 
All right, I hope this inspires everybody else to make one of these clay stove and put a fluka on top and call it a fluka clay stove. <laughs> All right, you can't see this, but there's a big glow on top of my head. <laughs> What's what you bucking now? There's a glow. The light coming from this fire, you can see it on top of the thing. You can't see it, but the human eyes can. There's a glow up here. That's pretty awesome. My fluke is turning red now. And it's putting out some damn heat. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but it's red right here. It's red hot. I just want to show you that. Shut the fuck up. 